We are in the middle of the bifurcation of timelines and reality shift. Old timelines collapse and there is no way back. While many of the early adapters are still feeling huge bipolar shifts between the two realities and between love and fear, first movers are now entering more and more an energetic state of being that is called zero point. The place where we are only observing, allowing, and are moving along with the energetic flow without being entangled with any of the drama, stories, and illusions of the old paradigm. We enter these points shortly before big energetic shifts, individually and collectively. We have reached the critical mass now. The amount of people that went through their awakening process and have anchored themselves on higher frequency levels. The critical mass to cause a ripple effect to cause the grand awakening of the human collective. The evolution back from polarity consciousness into unity consciousness. Transitioning is not easy. Transitioning means to let go of a lot of things and people we had developed an attachment to. And yet, attachment is not a natural state of being. It is an ego construct. Just as linear time is. We had developed these constructs to experience a life out of balance as far as possible. An experiment to see how far we could move away from our collective center. From oneness. From unity consciousness our origin. The source of all that is. The organism humanity went into collective amnesia and developed the concept of linear time, to give fear an artificial space to exist. To then create fear, it was necessary to cut off the conscious energetic connection to spirit, source, which caused the amnesia, and withdraw the feminine energy, creating the necessary misbalance. The masculine energy alone without the balancing counterpart, experienced separation, lack, and darkness. The energetic frequencies of fear were created. That was the fertile ground for the ego mind to evolve and grow and with it the illusion of duality. Further ego constructs evolved based on these concepts, loneliness, danger, the need to survive, the need to be better than others, etc. All of these were necessary to create the illusion humanity has been experiencing for eons, although also that is an illusion, as linear time does not exist. Humanity created its own autoimmune disease, fighting itself to move further and further out of balance, while living in this illusion. Now that we have reached the point of being furthest away from that inner balance of the collective before complete destruction of the organism humanity. It was time to end that experiment. The Construct of Linear Time and the Ego Now that we have more and more re-established our conscious connection to Source, to all that is, and have re-invited the mature feminine energy in, we entered that zero zone, where we experience the breakdown of the construct of linear time. And that means, those that experience it are transforming the last bits of ego and with it, the return of the mature masculine, the energy of doing, manifesting without any need of control. The ego cannot exist in the now. The place where there is no linear time. The ego always needs the artificial space of linear time to project its illusions. Now that this space drops away, fear has no fertile ground. We remember enough now to not buy into these artificial programs any longer. We are not even able to relate to all the human drama, all the stories, as we can see right through the illusion. It feels like white noise, a frequency of the radio station, we are no longer able to receive. We notice that we are completely in the zero point field, the now moment, when uncertainty does not upset us any longer. As indeed it is our natural state of being. We are not able to create expectations impatience, control, mistrust, conditions, as they need a concrete reference point in the future. All we can be is unconditional, trusting, and open to whatever comes, knowing it is perfectly in the flow. Human artificial structures such as schedules, appointments, daily routines become impossible to stick to, as they are not synchronizing with the universal flow. When linear time drops away, we automatically get access to the bigger picture. 
we align with unity consciousness and remember more and more of our essence and truth. All of a sudden, we know things we did not know before. We see and understand this all connecting energetic field, and how we incarnate into experiences in the physical. We are re-establishing the Holy Trinity. And with it, the full embodiment of spirit, soul and body. Everything happens at once in the now as all possibilities are available, always. Linear time was helping to create the illusion that there were sequences, and with it, memories that helped to keep fear projections alive. But what about past life memories, might the ego mind ask? All we do is choosing one or parallel experiences in a physical existence. Depending on where we tune in with our consciousness. We get flashes of information that feel like a past life memory although it is just a parallel reality we chose to access. Those that are in the middle of this transition, will more and more have that experience, that even what happened yesterday feels like a past life memory. The truth is, we create every moment anew, nothing is solid. When we become multi-dimensional again, anything becomes possible. Multi-dimensional experience is a super confusing, but also fun thing to experience. As we create moment to moment anew, we can also shift our realities quite easily. From the energetic frequency levels of the fifth dimension and onwards, we have all these different parallel timelines and realities available to access. And we choose our access points into the field of all possibilities from moment to moment and can alter as we wish once we are fully aligned. So what happens quite often while we are not yet fully stable and anchored in one frequency, is that we have to deal with multi-dimensional versions of other people, too. For example, a 3D and a 5D self of a person. These seem to be completely bipolar, do not remember what they had said before, or say even the complete opposite. The Mandela effect is exactly this. We are switching between different realities, collectively and individually, and we remember things differently than they are in our current timeline we chose to access. Our limited, fear-driven ego mind was not able to understand any of this. Only now we are entering the process of transcending it completely into a free spirit mind. A mind that is connected to all that is, is able to connect all dots, comes up with brilliant ideas to set intentions, the basis for all creation. Now that the mature masculine comes back and balances within us with the mature feminine, we have set the foundation for co-creation with others. We are back in the field of unconditional love within. Embodiment In order to create, we need to be able to embody our connection to Source, the open heart center and unity consciousness, the mature mind, in our physical vessel, the evolved body. We need the physical existence to be able to create. It is our physical body that lets us follow the energetic impulses we receive from the universal flow. The intention of the mind causes a feeling from the heart, which sets the energetic vibration that we emit into the field. We synchronize with frequency matches in the field people and situations, we resonate and that creates our outside reality. The more we learn to read and speak energy, by feeling it, the more we are able to follow the natural impulses we are receiving constantly with our physical body, our intuition. The deep knowing, this is what I have to do next, because it feels right. No matter what the rational mind might have to say about that to protect us. Once we have embodied the balance of the mature feminine and the mature masculine within, we are ready for the next phase, co-creation. Just as cells in an organism pair up to work together to create something, we are now more and more pairing up with like-minded and like-hearted people that have also found their balance within. This will be happening in all areas of life. Friendships, relationships, much more a relatedness now based on freedom, work, and activities of all sorts. First, we mainly feel drawn to co-create in pairs, members of our tribe that we have met while finding our true self in our process of awakening to practice balancing energy between two people, two physical entities. 
they might remain in our experience as partner or will move on, and both will feel absolutely fine. That, on a side note, was one very important part of our journey. To find our people all over the planet, anchor the grid and activate it to build all these little centers for the ripples we are now creating for the big shift. Co-creating in pairs will help us to learn how to balance energy between two physical entities, people, before we will take the next step to create something even bigger, pairing up with other pairs that have gone through that process. Returning to community, oneness, completely new models of living based on love and abundance. This is the way new earth will take form quickly. We are all creating this together. We are past the point of having to walk it alone. Now. How perfectly organized and how exciting is this?